All right, so we're gonna talk about the instrument panel in this video, and if you could take a quick look here, you could see there's a lot of gadgets and features that this machine has, and um, while there's a lot to it, it's laid out in a very, very logical way. So I'm gonna let Gino take it away and explain to us kind of what, what we're looking at here. So one of the common things that you hear as people look at this, especially from our industry, is exactly what Jesse okay. said. There's a whole lot going on here. It's actually far simpler than it actually appears at first glance. Obviously we have the key, choke, and throttle for engine control. As we look at the rest of the machine, it's important to start with this positioning bar. So the positioning bar can actually be loosened and readjusted, and that's going to come into the calibration side. But the reason that we want to talk about it is you're going to notice that all of the controls are for the operator to easily reach while they are using the machine. So to do it in an organized fashion, on the right hand side, we have our spreader pattern adjustment. So the operator can control the spread pattern right here. As we move forward, we have a left hand return and a right hand return for our left hand tank to control our fluids. We have the same on our right side. We have a pressure gauge. We're gonna notice this is a liquid, con liquid filled pressure gauge for accuracy and longevity. We have the control to change the pressure, which is obviously very important when spraying. We have three nozzles, and from the position, obviously pulling it up is going to turn this on. And the reason for that is so that at any point in time, if you were to come into an area or you saw a problem as the operator, by flipping your finger forward, you can turn that particular spray pattern off. We have three different valves here. We're gonna go into the detail as we get into this, the actual sprayer portion. Then we have our three rocker switches. So we have our spreader, our sprayer pump, and right in the middle, we have our foamer attachment. We're gonna talk about that in the sprayer system as well. Right to our right, far right-hand side, we have the hopper gate control, and we have our side deflector control. Last but not least, we have our spreader speed control, rheostat controlled, and our little brains of the operation. This little guy right here is what's gonna allow us to calibrate the machine, and it's gonna give us the ability to set the actual ground speed using the positioning bar. Really? The precision of this machine is top notch. And let me tell you what else all this, this digital dashboard is gonna give us. Ground speed, trip distance, a clock, so you can actually can see what to bill the customer if you're billing by time or minutes battery voltage, a stopwatch, ambient air temperature, and the professionals listening to this understand why that is so important. The ride time, the odometer, the total accumulated ride time, the average speed, maximum speed, and max and minimum system voltage. Wow, it's like a tiger, tiger's eye on steroids. It is, and it's like a little control box, but this is key to the precision of how well the machine works. And then we do have one auxiliary panel there, and obviously that can be done for something to be added in the future, as well as a light panel if we're gonna be using the machine at dusk. That's gonna really sum up our operator control area, but it's important that we understand what each one of these controls are, clearly marked, very intuitive for the operator, and the professionals are gonna notice how the time that was spent making sure that every control is right where they need it. Sure, sure. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. We're gonna go over spreader, and then we'll do a separate video on sprayer controls. And I'm sure we're gonna get back into the controls in, each, in, in depth there. So thanks for joining us.